Hello and welcome to another episode of Sunita Kumar's channel, say a video of Sunita Kumar's channel. I'm Sunita Kumar. I'm here to facilitate your requirements related to Finland job, career, uh, so many different things. And I'm also working on a, on some episodes of uh, cooking in my kitchen because I think like um, something that people really cherish is Indian um, uh, Indian cuisine and uh, why not make it so easy and simple for everyone to be able to prepare at home so a few episodes are ready but then i will be working on on episodes more so um once a week i will be bringing cooking videos one like as frequent as possible but that is not my main agenda my main agenda right now is to talk about the career opportunities with you today we are going to talk about the strawberry uh, picking farms jobs in finland which is a seasonal work which is not like something that that can be applied like throughout the year this season is from may to august like the starting of the spring to the end of the fall uh strawberry basically strawberry timing is from july august june yeah june is also the uh, the month so, uh, you can apply it immediately because this is the time for application it will take two weeks to process and then by the time april end is here you should be here so that you can uh start working through the summer accommodation and uh, uh salaries we are going to talk about your eligibility we are going to talk about the different agencies that can help you in this we are going to talk about uh, and criteria uh, you know, what are the sites that will help you in getting these uh, this uh strawberry picking job as always again i have a book and a pen and i have written down everything for you because you know like making these videos the the information should be so correct and accurate that always attempt like I give the right information if the information is not right there's no point in making uh, these videos so uh, today we are going to talk about uh, farming jobs uh, like strawberry picking jobs but strawberry picking doesn't involve only picking right there are job descriptions which are like planting tithing packing uh, you know um, selling uh, there are a lot of jobs related to strawberry itself let's try to uh, we will be discussing right now what is the number one thing that you don't need you don't need finnish language skills you don't need any specific language skills uh, as far as you are able to communicate as far as you are able to uh, you know write and communicate well with your employer that is all they are looking for irrespective of you not knowing languages here you should be able to express yourself well so that those people understand what are your requirements and what uh, how they can help you so that's number one thing that you should take care uh, should be able to communicate yeah uh, physical it's a physically demanding job you know it's it's a hard working laborious job so definitely you need to be strong enough to do this and then only apply for it not not like you know you just applying it for the sake because you need a job but then when, once you come here and you won't be able to perform you'll be just like kicked out of it and it's not good then next time it will be very difficult for you to enter the country so make sure that this is a hard demanding job and you are ready for such hard working job to be able to work in different uh, um, weather conditions because even if it is summer it's very hot but it the, some the, the temperature fluctuates like for the month of may and june it's going to be cold here uh, and uh, um, it's only July where the proper summer is like like a, a Asian summer. But, uh, even in the month of May and June, it's going to be cold for you. You should be having proper clothing. Bring generous amount of proper clothing for yourself to work in the in orientation is given to um, uh, to the employees who whoever they are. Like if you have applied, you come here when you'll come here. Orientation will be given to you what will you be doing the training with a little bit of training is also given but you know like you if you are applying if you have already uh, some experience in uh, uh, farming jobs then uh, then you won't take a long you know big too much of a time to adjust into uh, this so you need passport you need your country's id documents you need your country's um, uh, you know or like even if you have a driving license related to or driving a vehicle which is an additional uh you know a additional positive thing that you you can drive a sea vehicles like trucks or minivans or tractors or something like that then it is an additional point you will be paid extra for that for sure so do um, uh, you know bring your licenses also experience certificates uh passport and uh, your uh, uh, your 
country's id card and all the necessary documents related to your education background also even if you're not too uh, even if you have completed only a certain like primary level schooling or uh, uh, junior college level schooling uh, education uh, you know for junior college level which we can, we call it junior college over here it's called vocational course so those certificates also you carry with yourself always carry those you know certificates with you because you never know if you are working hard over here and they and in there are the employers like you and first thing i tell you you know that finnish people love honesty and i congratulate all the fin the entire finland right now for being again the number one happiest country in the seventh consecutive year i'm really glad i'm really uh, happy about it and i congratulate it to so many people around me even my neighbors i saw him and i was like hi congratulations you are on uh, number one again for the happiest country i think we should cover a video related to why finland is the happiest country and what are my observations about it i will be definitely covering that video but as of now let's just get dive into this thing that Finnish people love honesty. They love honest people. Corruption is really less. So when you're coming here, you're performing well. And if you are someone who whom the employer has liked, then they will extend you. There, might, there are chances that the, the, your visa might get extended into another job. So carry all your certificates with yourself. So when is the time to apply these jobs? Right now is the time to apply these jobs because early spring you will start planting, uh, the farms will start planting from the early spring. So you need to apply immediately and be here in no time so that, uh, you know, it will take two weeks of um, two weeks of um, time to process as I always meant, already mentioned. So what will be the job description you will be doing? Um, there is picking, there is packing, sales preparations, planting, tidying, um, and taking care of plants. And there are other, you know, job, job description around it. Uh, there can be um, anything, but you will be given the orientation and you will be actually, you will know more about it once you contact the employer. Uh, what are the facilities and pays you are going to get? get? Let's discuss the pay. Uh, see, uh, according to 2020 to 21, I would say from 10 euros to 11.5 euros, 12 euros per hour, depending. It's 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 the entire variation in jobs payment. A job, the payment is a very very thing to talk about, but you will not be paid less for sure. It's a demanding job. They need uh, farm workers over here, so it's not that you will be will not be paid sufficient enough. Um, even if you calculate like 12 hours uh 12 euros per hour it, it comes across uh, 35,000 yearly so 35,000 um euros yearly so it's not a less payment but you need to take take note of the taxes so do check with them before uh, taking up the job that what are the what are the kind of taxes you will be paying in in this kind of a job so do check that also uh for they the you and working hours may vary like if it is minimum of eight hours eight hours per day but if you want to work less you can talk to your employer and you can uh, fix some timing for yourself uh 40 hours per week is is something that they ask for um eight hours per day but if you are if you're willing to work less than that then um you can talk to your employer that you're available for these hours uh communicating about your availability and available hours is very important guys you know like if you have packing job then you will be paid uh per packet like per packet you have packed you will be paying according to that uh, or how many kgs of strawberries you have picked you will be paid according to that and you need to talk about your accommodation let's talk about where you will be staying when you come here so accommodation uh, needs to be spoken or with like communicated with your employer if you need accommodation you have to talk to them if you already have an, a settlement then it's fine but mostly you know the farms are actually the countryside jobs so definitely you're not going to uh, live in the city and if you have some kind of source where you think like you will be living and communicating to the countryside every day that is not possible so the farms who are giving these jobs actually give accommodation to their um, employees and two to four people live in one uh, you know nicely cozy comfortable 
uh, a room apart apartment kind of a room um where they have kitchen and they have they provide uh, uh, you need each and every employer is different so accommodation food and all the required necessary things you need to talk to your employer it will vary from farm to farm but generally accommodation is given what about they charge up for accommodation like for from three to seven euros i don't know about it uh, i think there are farms which charge for accommodation so you need to check that uh, what about food where will you eat will they be providing food who will be cooking everything you need to talk to the employer and it varies from employer to employer and company to company now let's get into a uh, very important thing that what are the direct hiring companies which provide these jobs and number one is toyota somesta or y uh Ma mara my handwriting is so bad. Sometimes I don't recognize my own handwriting. Okay, anyways, these are the <laughs> these are the uh, companies which are which provide and where where you can directly apply. These are the companies you check them out. Deed.com and Toyota Swamesta Obai are the two popular job boards in Finland where you can directly apply and employment agencies are like i have already spoken about it in my recruiting recruitment uh, agencies video and adeco is something i really like this agency i have seen so many people actually hire being hired through adeco and uh, manpower temp team manpower is also very nice so i think manpower and adeco adeco will help you big time temp team and barona so these are the agencies that you should look into and uh, start applying application time is right now make a rush start your search and uh, uh, apply at many many places so that um you know like somewhere you get hired you have options like this i can reject and this i can pick i hope this information was um, useful to you and uh, more videos to come and I look forward to your subscription if you have not yet subscribed. But I'm really happy that the kind of subscription I have received in eight, nine months now. I think I had properly seriously started posting videos just only like six months back. Before that, my uh, my videos are like not as good as now I'm doing. But with time and practice, you always improve yourself and that's what I'm trying. I hope this video was useful to you and I see you in the next video and stay connected with me for any kind of uh, information that you require more do comment in the comment box and I will try to help you as much as possible. Thank you so much. Bye bye and have a lovely week ahead.